Hey, Naja, did too hard, bruh. Uh, I think whole phases are necessary. I don't necessarily know if they build character. Um, I feel like sexually, if you, I, okay, let me. Hell yes. I think everyone should go through a whole phase. Everyone. Yeah. Cause you don't even know how to do what you're supposed to do if you ain't been through a whole phase. Absolutely. Yes. Whole phases allow you to know how to have sex how you need to improve your sex, and who you will be having sex with in the future. I think it does build character. I think it's needed though. I think um, everybody, girls and guys should have a whole phase. It kind of teaches you what to do and what not to do as far as sexually. Um, I think as, well, I'm 30 right now. I'm 29, I'm gonna be 30. I think that I need somebody that as, anybody I'm dating, they need to be kind of experienced to the game. And I don't feel like you can be as experienced if you don't go through a whole phase. So, okay, here's like with a whole phase, right? I think if you have the interest in some time and someday locking down, like being committed to one person, I think it's necessary to have a whole phase to kind of know what you like sexually. You get what I'm saying? Because I feel like sometimes what you think you'll like sexually, it might not be that thing. And I think what a whole phase does is shows you like, oh, okay, I thought I was gonna like this, but I really don't. And, or I thought, I wasn't going like this, but I really do. You get what I'm saying? And so I feel like if you tie down too fast before kind of experimenting, you may look around five years committed. And now you got like, dang, this is getting kind of like dry. Cause I think no matter what you're in, it may get dry. Mm -hmm. But like, if you have some nostalgia, some memory, you can kind of like, okay, I done been there, done that. But if it get dry, you ain't even done nothing else. You like, listen, <laughs> it's dry, I'm out. I'm just gonna speak personally because I don't know about any other yeah, person. Yeah, tell us about your whole face. I've had to. Um, <laughs> you know, the years between like 19 and 21, yeah, 19 and 21, and then, then after I got in a serious relationship, but, um, and they got out of it, then I had a whole phase, but I feel like, um, I wouldn't necess necessarily say it builds character, but it definitely like helps you determine what you want, what you like, who you like. Um, but I definitely do feel like it's necessary to go through. Does it build character? I don't know, because sometimes it could, if you're not a strong enough person, they could probably break your ego down. Yeah. It, in case you have instances where you're rejected or you're just not good yeah. enough and people don't even really want to fuck with you like that, but. Um, I feel like that's life though, in general. Yeah. I don't like the terminology. A whole build a hope. A what? A whole build, a whole No, because if you see that, you sitting up there, you're going to be one of the motherfuckers that don't have sex till you're married, and then your, wife, your wife is depressed and lonely and mad Ooh. and sad that she done no. married your ass. Whatever I said, Because your ass done fucked one and a half people your whole damn life. So you could just say, like, I mean, it's just promiscuous fucking or like. What is, dating, what is, what is promiscuous? Dating, dating with promiscuous. Promiscuous is a long way to say hoe. <laughs> Same thing. But hoe is a hoe though. At least with promiscuous, it'll put a little glitter on top of the Promiscuous is a hoe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, like, a a like, hoe with glitter? So a stripper. A hoe okay. build a character. Yeah. Type of bitch. It's like no. a little stripper build a character. Yeah, oh, it builds her calf muscles, it builds her uh, abdominal muscles, it builds them her arm muscles. Them that is character. Them That's attributes. body characters. Them attributes. Body characteristics, nigga. Well, what does a whole face all entail? Like, what? Um, what is a whole face? It kind of humbles you in the sense that you think. I mean, but what is? Is like what makes it a whole phase? Is it? I think a whole phase is. is I, I think. Well, I think majority. If you went to college, you went through a whole phase. If you want it. Through your freshman and sophomore year, you probably went through a whole phase where you was probably happy to be out of the house for the first time. You can move how you want to move without your mama hitting you up every five minutes asking where you at. And you just feel you free. You just you don't have no limits, no expectations. I, now, in the same time you uh, say that, my fault. No, I feel like your 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 standards kind of drop a little bit in that whole phase because you really just smashing anybody you really can get your hands on at that particular time without no um, without 
thinking about the repercussions. Mm -hmm. Now, it's negatives and positives to that. You can mess around and have a child off of that. Or if you don't have a child, you know, you kind of, you get to a point where you kind of, you grow out of it, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like by going through that, you learn a lot about yourself though. Yeah. The person, yeah. you know, sexually, you know, for when you start taking relationships a little bit more serious down the line. I mean, I feel like a whole phase is necessary to an extent. Like, I feel like not everybody goes through a whole phase, like, you know, you might have a girl that, you know, like you said, you that's necessary if you're like settling down for a long time. Mm -hmm. So if you're like locked down for a long time and then it's like, if you settle down, then you're like, start being curious of what maybe okay. like is out there. And then you're like, and then you gotta just get that all out before you settle down. So what is a hoe? Let's, let's, start, let's go there. What's a hoe? I mean, a hoe is a girl that messes around with multiple guys uh, in the weekend. Wait, so so guys can't be hoes? Yeah. Oh, no, nah, you say girls, so guys cool. We, ain't, we can't be hoes. Guys can be hoes. <laughs> okay, like, okay. Definitely, for mm -hmm. sure. But I'm saying, like, a hoe is a girl just, is just messing around with multiple men at one time. Like, you know? But I think there's, like, levels to, like, I don't call that a hoe, but I think I got a different definition. I think men are always in a hoe phase. We are always in a hoe phase. <laughs> always? Yeah, bro. We are in our so hoe phase. So you never stop? Oh, we do stop okay. at some point. But it takes a special person to make you get out of that hoe phase. Gotcha. Like, even with me in, like, relationships, I will say that I've always had, like, not always, but it's always, like, multiple women. And then one of them stand out from the rest. And then that's when I cut off. That just sounds like dating, though. That's just me being a hoe. Out here so, <laughs> like, dang, this feel different. This hit different. <laughs> I gotta stop. Hit different. Hit I got a question. Did you have a hoe phase? No, I just fucked. <laughs> a lot of people. No, not even a lot. Who I wanted to fuck. <laughs> okay, so um, fuck this. Kind of sound like a whore. No, it don't. Yes, it it sounds like. Have you had sex with more than one person in a day? In a day? Yeah. No. There's okay. a hoe. Listen, that's to each his own. Look, that's to each his own. You're I, not gonna sit over here and judge me like that. I don't like the tone you're taking. I know pimp now partners. Listen. If you're fucking more than one person in a day, you're hoeing. You're hoeing. Male or female? Male or female. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I, got, I, got, I, don't, I don't agree. I don't know? agree. I feel like as long as you have at least an eight hour span between those people, you're not a hoe. Eight hours? What's the you eight know? hour span for? To clean? I mean, to clean, to let your body get a break. You know, you don't just be right back to back. You sound know, like, have sound a little, like, have bro, a little blunt get, in between. Have you a little drag with, You getting dragged with no orgasm. That's what you sound like. Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> that, listen, you childish if you ain't reaching no orgasm. Sound like, man. sound like, uh, lead, lead, lead the money purpose. on the nightstand. <laughs> lead the money on the nightstand, I mean, if that's how you feel, but, uh... Like, I think for women, a lot of times our whole phase comes when after heartbreak. A lot of mm -hmm. women, they turn into that because they were like maybe loyal to a guy and the guy mm -hmm. fucked them over. And they're like, okay, fuck man. I don't wanna, yeah. you know, I'm at a point where I'm just like, I fuck with them, but I'm not really like looking for anything serious. At least that's for me. That's where my, right. I guess, whole phase came from. But I think it sucks because I think a lot of times too, that, that term is more for women than it is for men. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Men don't have whole phases or whatever the case may be. And if it is, it's not, look, it's not frowned upon as it is for if I say, yeah, I had a whole phase, it's kind of like, oh, okay, so you out here, you know, fucking. Because I feel like you can be sexually liberated without being a hoe. To me, I feel like a hoe is somebody, never mind, they gonna hate no, me. I ain't trying to be, I don't try to be this honest. No, I, 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 you made me feel comfortable. It's the eyes. Her eyes are too pretty. She made me feel comfortable. Nah, I'm with no, it. <laughs> it. I feel like a hoe, okay, to me, like the negative connotation of a hoe, I feel like a hoe is somebody who don't have no standards. To me. So like for me, it was like, if you have like, like if you're attracted to multiple people and have sex with them, that's not a hoe to me. That's an adult. Like, it's your body. Do what you want with it. Okay. To me, like the negative part of a hoe is somebody who says, it can be any old person. Like I ain't got, you ain't got to really tell me no respect, no love, no, no attraction level, no nothing. Like you just, boom. Because I feel like what differentiates somebody from being like just a regular adult? Like you supposed to only have one or two partners as an adult. You supposed to, I'm mean, not supposed to, but you can have sex. Like so, you would mo mess with multiple women, mm -hmm. and then just whatever one sticks out the most, that's the one that you'll fuck with the hardest. And yeah. then what you'll but it start a relationship just, with yeah. them. It would be like a really, it wouldn't even just necessarily be sex. It would just be something about that person. So, but how's that a hoe phase though? Cause I'm out here being a hoe. If I ain't in a relationship, I'm a hoe. I'm gonna be honest. Mm. 
What is what is a hoe? I'm smashing and dashing. Every time. <laughs> Hitting and split. Hitting okay. And split. Okay. So what are some things that stick out for you? <laughs> that what are the things that stick out that will make you gravitate toward a particular person? It just depends on that person. Okay. So my question is, if you're like just hitting and splitting, how are you even knowing if that person is worth um, like choosing? That's her job to show me that she worth choosing. Oh, so she's like, I'm more than just ass. I'm right. brains yes, and exactly. I'm heart and I'm all this exactly. and that. Okay. I do it, Bill. When you say character, like you gain character as like you grow as a person. You yeah, and you understand grow in your what... sexual experiences as a person who has sex. Oh, oh. yeah. And that's why I said call it something Everything else, you like, do in your life is going to build towards your character in some type of way. Including fucking. That's inclu why no, no, no. It's not including fucking. Including being a hoe is what you're saying. Let me tell you something. You call it what you want to. But if your <laughs> that's, ass, what, that's what we talking about. If your about. ass don't have a hoe phase, by the time you swear you're ready to settle down, what's going to happen is you're going to get tired of that same dick or pussy, and then eventually somebody going to come around smelling good, looking good, making you curious, and you're going to fuck around cheap and fuck up your whole shit. That you better have a hoe phase at least a half a time in your life so you can get all that out your system. I don't think you ain't got to worry it. about that. So therefore, therefore, when you married and that fine ass motherfucker come around, you're like, I'm good. I've had a couple of fine niggas before. Have a great day. Thank you for the compliment. Mm -hmm. If you ain't ever been a hoe, you're gonna sweat, wet, fuck it. <laughs> I'm for real. I don't think I don't think people really express when they have their hoe phase. They know personally when they yeah. have their hoe phase. I yeah. don't think it's, it's 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 you know, like I said, I went to college. I know I had a hoe phase through freshman year. I probably about by the time I got to my third year, I really wasn't really on that at that point. I was trying to graduate. But I know when I when I when I stepped on campus and I knew I had all of this freedom of Europe. It's just it's just natural. It's when you 19, 18, 19, around that time, you just you, you down for whatever at, at any point in time. Now, like you said, some yeah. people might have a whole phase after they break up because they might be, you know, done went through something bad as far as the relationship mm -hmm. and now they like fuck it, like you said, like yeah. I'm just gonna be out here in these streets. You feel me? So I mean it, your whole phase can come at different ages, but I feel like um, it's very much needed. Yeah. So from a guy's perspective, like, what makes y'all think a girl's a hoe? Like, what makes y'all think, okay, like, she's a hoe? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, wrong dude. But I feel like I'm looking at anybody as a hoe is somebody, to me, who had no standards. I mean, okay, let's, let's say I meet two different people okay. and you got 10 partners, right? But one person says, I was attracted to 10 folks. They, they showed me a good time. It was what it was. And we had sex. I wouldn't call that person a hoe. Opposed to somebody else who says, I ain't really know bro or girl's name. I didn't really know. We did it. It's like one night stands. It's it ain't gotta be one night stand per se, but it just gotta be like done in a sleazy way to me. I feel like that's what people call a hoe. Like, I don't know. For me, I just feel like it's, it's, it's not fair to call an adult a hoe just for having sex with multiple people because I feel like that's just unfair. You may meet somebody and catch a vibe, and it's your body. You did what you wanted with it. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to somebody who actively says, whoever, highest bidder, let's do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. My whole phase was just like, just fucking niggas just because they were available to have sex with. Oh, shit. And, Fuck. you know, some, you got sometimes you got to itch, you got to scratch it, and you just want to keep on Fuck. moving. I'm the type of person, I'm just like, sometimes I won't even call you back because it might not have been good, or all I wanted was that, and that's it. I got it, and I'm moving on. You know what? I learned that women can be just as savage as us, and that shit is amazing to me. Yeah. When I found that out, it was like, whoa, a culture shock here. Wait a minute. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm a piece <laughs> of meat to her. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. So you actually, like, that would make you more attracted to a woman, huh? When you find I, out she is using you, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I think it blows my mind. Oh, okay. Because it happened to me before, and I was just really shocked. So <laughs> niggas who did have the whole thing, and they got with somebody trying to be all, ooh, we married, we love each other. And you fuck around, ran across somebody you ain't never ran across before, because you didn't have a whole face, and you fucked up. That's and just you not getting, that's just you not getting out there and, and experiencing different people. You ain't gotta necessarily have sex with these people to build no fucking character. If I'm fucking the end, that's building some more than my damn character. What character like, are we building if we just sitting here on the phone talking for like six months? Shit, I know what you like, what the fuck you don't like. What, how, how, is, how is what you like and what you don't like building my character? 
How was me us fucking building a character? I can find you out. You talking to me and us fucking. I can find out this. new positions. I can find out what I don't like. I can find out what you not doing right. I can find out a lot of shit about myself. They put motherfuckers behind the eight <laughs> ball with that because if you don't know what the fuck you doing it, and this is my whole stage. Like I, I mean, you like, have a little slight the fuck, I'm not fucking you no more. You not getting no more dick from me. I mean, I think too with the whole face building character situation is that it doesn't necessarily, it's hard for me to feel like it has to be a whole face. I think the term whole face kills me sometimes because I feel like I could date four or five guys and maybe only be fucking one or maybe two, maybe two, the second might slip in and I could still build character. I could still know what I want like by just simply dating and like, okay, I seen some characteristics I didn't like in him mm -hmm. and then I seen some characteristics in that guy, uh, I don't think I wanna fuck with that guy. But, you know, and then, and then age too plays a role, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe when we was younger, we was more promiscuous and mm -hmm. more sexual. But either way, I do, I, I mean, t t for the most part, I think if you dating a lot, it does help you understand what you want and what you don't want in a significant other for, you know, your future. Um, and some people never went through a whole phrase. I have friends who never even, never went through a whole phase, never went through the college phase of, of living it up and, you know, uh, still, you know, shit, marry before I am or engage right. before I am, so. No, I feel, I mean, I feel like everybody should definitely go through a whole phase so they can get all that out before you do, like, settle down. Like, whether or not someone goes through that phase, it's really up to them. And, so do you, you know, think somebody could be a, not go through a whole phase and be in a relationship and it be all good? Yes. Mm. I do. Okay. I mean, what do you think? I mean, you know, I don't know. I mean, I feel like, it sounds good, you know what I mean? Maybe this is how you're wired, you know what I'm saying? I yeah, feel like for yeah, me, nice. somebody who did go through my phases, plural, you feel what I'm saying? You know, because I also don't think whole phases necessarily are one and done, you know what I'm saying? Like for me, I went through a phase when I was like 20, 21, got in a relationship for like eight months, got out of it and was like, mm, I think I might need another one, you know what I'm saying? Like I think I might need another little phase to learn some more, do some more, do my thing, and even now, like, as a single person ish, it's like okay, like, am I like, is this considered a, like, like what is a whole phase? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what does that mean? Like, I mean, you have a sex with multiple cats. Yeah, and I also think too, it it like helps to make your sex better. Hell yes, hell yes. Because some people don't know what they, but you know what? I come I to realize the people who don't know what they're doing is because they come across partners that don't let them know. Mm that they don't know what they're doing. Like a lot of times women are too afraid to articulate to guys that like, hey, you know, I, I like it yet. this way. I, I didn't, yeah, exactly. <laughs> because the thing is, and I'll tell you why, because women are afraid to bruise men's egos. Why? Because y'all don't take rejection easy. You ever seen when a dude try to talk to a girl and she goes, no thank you. I don't want your ugly ass anyway. Yeah, like, I you know, it's like, it that hurts y'all so bad to get rejected. No, baby, just call it, hey, I'm new to fucking, I would like to date or talk to multiple people that I would like to fornicate with as well, but what? I just, you know what I'm saying? No, I was just trying I to dress just, it up. Quit you know, trying to dress this shit up. At least look good up, man. A whole stage says, I like, hey, look, hey, you outside wrong. of you, I'm gonna fuck whoever Everybody. fuck I want to, and I'm gonna learn about myself after I fuck these people. I mean, hey, you say, um, look, if you're going through special. a whole phase, you do not need to be with anybody. <laughs> he said yeah. you need to, no, 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 you just, alluded, a whole way. you alluded to the fact that they had somebody already. No, your whole phase, you should be single. You should actually tell motherfuckers from the beginning. I don't date niggas, seriously, or females. You should seriously. tell somebody from the beginning, I'm in my whole stage. Right, that's, that, yeah. I, Man, what you think what I need to do? What the fuck does that sound like? You sound like I'm being at a bar or something, and it's like, hey, how you doing? I'm Brian. It's like, I mean, people respect that more. Hey, I'm in my whole stage. People respect, I mean, you don't bring it up as soon as you say the damn thing. I'm going this way, baby. No. I'm going this way. Some people wouldn't even call it a whole phase. They'll call that dating. Yeah, you are right. And that's my thing. Why, maybe a whole phase is just technically dating, but it's just like I said, saying it out loud is frowned upon. If I say, oh yeah, I'm 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 dating and I'm having sex with guys, it's, it's going to be frowned upon. It's going to be looked at I, as. I don't think it's the same, as, though. You don't think it's the same? I think. The significance of a whole phase is when you're actually learning yourself sexually and you don't have no limits on 
when you're having sex, how much you're having sex uh -huh. in that particular time. It could be, you could be go through a whole phase for six months, or you can go through a whole phase mm -hmm. for a year till you get to that maturity level of, I don't yeah, want to do this no more. I don't want to do this no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can see what you're saying. Versus you saying you dating most five or six people and then you only smashing two of them. That's pretty much, that's, they happen on a daily basis. If that's the case, I think 85% of the world going through their whole phase if, they, if that's the case. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like everybody's definition of a hoe is gonna be different. True. Like everybody has their own opinion of what a hoe is. Like you might ask someone and be like, oh yeah, she a hoe. I'm like, well, how is she a hoe? I'm like, cause she talks to all these dudes and whatnot. Like a Lori Harvey. Is Lori Harvey a hoe to you? Like outside looking in, is she a, is she a hoe? I mean, Lori Harvey, she just she just the game. <laughs> like she just. I mean, I don't want to say like. I mean, personally. I feel like that looks bad because, you know, you're talking to multiple people like that are in this kind of like same industry, so it looks bad. But um, shoot, I mean, she's just, she's just keeping her standards high and uh, she's not settling, like, you know. But then it's even worse when it comes to like having sex because like now you're like, it's a performative thing. So how are we supposed to get better? Women need to start learning to be brave enough to let you know. But then that means men need to start stop being little babies yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and allowing that type of criticism. Like hey, if your dick whack hey, then you ain't hitting it right. Tell them how to hit it right. Please, please. Like we're adults, you're a grown up. Don't be afraid to tell a man that he's not stroke game weak. Exactly. <laughs> weak. It is made to that point where you be like, hey, you know, we probably want to get down later on. Just, hey, mm -hmm. I don't do commitment. I'm, I'm not exclusive on this shit. I'm just out here living my best life. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta put people in your business like that, but you no. need to let them know. <laughs> I'm trying to be a care. No, I mean, listen, I did it. I used to tell people just that. Like, <laughs> I listen, I'm out here. They be like, oh, I like you. I want to talk to you. That's cool. I keep those feelings to yourself because what I'm doing right now is what I feel like so doing. So you be a selfish, be a- Hell yeah, I'm selfish as fuck. <laughs> What you mean? <laughs> I don't tell anybody until this care. day. I didn't be able to care for the other person. Then how the other person want to find out about them sins if you got the hell. I mean, I you like. gonna find out you messed up when you try to bring feelings involved. You gonna find out with somebody else because I'm out here with no feelings. Man. Fuck him and move I feel like it builds character. I don't give a fuck what this nigga okay. talking about. It builds character. You do that. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you done had a whole phase. You know, so I feel like at that point, the whole phase is when you're trying to learn yourself. You're trying to figure out, is this what I like? Is that what I like? Do I like getting hit from the bag or do I like, you know, you know what I'm saying? But like, you can't do like that. that. Are you not able to do that with just fucking two guys and dating five? You, you, you won't be able to learn that by just dating? Yeah, no, you can, but it's just, it's, it's like, I think when you when you going through a whole phase, you having like multiple bodies by different people. Like it's not necessary. I don't think you going through a whole. So phase. you learning more sexually, or are you learning more on a like? Both though. Yeah. I mean, personally, I feel like you know she's. I don't know. I wouldn't per se do it because it. I wouldn't like to look like that. Just kind of. Yeah. You know, hopping around like you know stuff like that. But I mean, we can't really speak on it because we don't know I me. Mean, Maybe she did or didn't mess around with that person. Maybe it was just like, you know, a pop out kind of thing. And it was like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not messing with them. I'm just popping out with them mm -hmm. kind of thing. I, mean, I get it, but even okay, let's take it. Like Lori Harvey, in the last three years, let's just say, right? She done, she publicly was with what? Future, Michael B. Jordan, Trey Songs, Trey Songs and then the Memphis guy she was engaged to. Oh, I didn't know she was engaged. She was engaged to the soccer player dude, right? So that's four dudes in three years. That's a lot. That's a lot? That's a, that's a lot. She was engaged. Like, four people engaged. in three years is a lot of people? I mean, to, oh. I mean, you can have booze, but like, if you're like locked in like relationship, like you're working towards that, and that's your boyfriend or girlfriend, that's like a lot. Like, I remember, look, so in college, uh -huh. one of my whole phases, I thought I was doing my thing. I thought I was. I had smashed this older girl. She embarrassed me. She like paused me and, no, stop. Do this. Wait. Slow down. And I was just, that shit fucked me up. So you're right. She was teaching you. But in the midst of the thing, like I'm, tr I'm just getting the engine started. So no. I'm like, no. She, she was teaching you how she liked to have sex. Yeah. And like I like the thing is, women don't want to be used as masturbation toys. Uh, it's not for you. It's for both of us. Yeah, it's for both of y'all. And so if I'm explaining to you how I like it, yeah. then you should listen. And you should be able to do the same thing for me. But I wasn't there yet mentally, and she fucked me up. 
I feel you. I had to pack my shit up. I was like, I'm about to, I'm about to dip. This ain't working. But yeah, yeah. Class is in session. Teach a man. And teach you know a woman. Teach a woman too. You know me, Some of y'all just be laying there. I don't know what that's about. Well, it sounds like you're learning more of a sexual, what you like want you, sexually versus more yeah. than what I want in dating. Right. It sounds like, okay, now I know I like to get hit from the back more than I, I like missionary. It yeah. doesn't sound like to me that I'm learning characteristics of building character. It just sounds right. like I'm learning what, what, how, what you, type of you sex I like. You're not even thinking about being in a relationship, period. Okay. You're not, the relationship is not so even some on the to table. It. Yeah, some depth it's, to it. Yeah, yeah, so it's like you just pretty much just having sex at, 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 at will yeah. at this point. Yeah. And through that whole phase, you're starting to realize what is good for me and what's not good for me. And then, like you said earlier, when you get to a point where you mature and you're like, okay, I, I can't do this no more. Then you start to look at, okay, this is what I need to be in a relationship or this mm -hmm. is what I need to, you know, these type of guys that I like. These are guys I don't like. I like light skin, I like dark skin. I like, you know, short or tall. Right. Big or fat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, that's when you start to, like, really, like, understand yourself. Yeah. But, like, while I was in that health phase, I noticed I was dating these type of men. Right. Uh, Attracting these type of men. And, okay, I can see yeah. that. Like, you dating? He has a lot of relationships, but we don't we don't know that to be. I mean, she posted them, but I feel like as a celebrity, like, you go out, you can go out on one date with somebody, they're going to make it. That, that's your dude. Thing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But I feel like four people in three years, to me, that's not even a person every six months. That's, wait. I never, I never said I was a mathematician now, but, but I'm just saying like that's, like, like, that's like a little bit of, I don't know, as a single girl, let's just say, okay, you, you a single girl, are you single? Yeah. You, are you single for real? You, yeah. this, this, is, this is recorded. Okay, he, she's single, y'all. So, you single, you meet a guy of your dreams today. Mm -hmm. Dope, good vibes, good people, he show you all the good times, okay. and you guys be adults and have some adult time at night or in the daytime, however you get down. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. And two months after that, he realized, eh, I'm not really interested. Okay, so that's one guy in three months. You meet another guy, okay? That's three months later, and this is all cool. Y'all have adult time, six months. You meet another guy, so that's three, that's three guys already, but you didn't, are you a hoe? Wow, that's crazy. People be um, hoes. She might not be enjoying it. She might not have the energy. She might not, just might not just want to do it. She's al allowing you to do it just because she's like, oh, you know, oh. But that's Let why I also it. don't talk shit. I don't even like girls that talk shit. I don't want a girl to tell me, oh, come over, I'm finna fuck the shit out you shit. I don't want to hear that. Because when we get there, it'd be a different story. I'm like, what happened to all that shit you was talking about? I don't even like that shit. I don't talk shit. Oh. If I'm about to, oh, okay, I'll see you later, we gonna chill. That's what I'm gonna say. We gonna, you know, we gonna hang out, have some wine I or talk whatever. shit, I and then I back it up. Nah, I don't talk shit. Because see, I just, show you. just like, man, my ego is, huge too and i don't ever want you to have it in your mind that i can't like fuck on a high level Jesus. so it's gonna be top tier okay if i'm talking especially if i'm talking about it it's gonna be top tier but i don't like no one is coming i like surprise well with sex i like surprise lori harvey is a vibe okay that's all i have to say about that she is a vibe young girl live your best life safely don't get pregnant Okay. I feel like she either is, I can't confirm or deny that she fucking, but I just feel like, you know, with the circle being so small that you should date outside of the motherfuckers that you see with another motherfucker. That, to me, is a little hoish. Hoish. It's not that I ain't building no fucking character doing that shit either. You are building your character, Lori. What? You know, you're learning so you got, your, so you know that you like niggas. So you know that you like niggas you to sing to you. You, you like know that you like day. niggas who is you sons to other niggas' sons. <laughs> I fuck twins. Man, I ain't know they was twins until after I fucked both of them, but see, hey. See what I'm listen, saying? That hey, shit. I'm not going around asking your life story. I'm what character was built from that shit? Yeah. And you know shit, this dude ain't for me, this guy for, you know, this is the type of guys I need to be with type shit. Okay. You know? Yeah, that makes sense. And then, I don't necessarily think a whole face is a, is, is, is a bad thing. I think it's needed. I think everybody needs to go to the whole face. Because I don't feel like if I dated you and you haven't went through that phase yet, then I'm a little scared. Hmm, okay. Because ain't no telling what you're what you going to do at that point. So I you think you to, that I you, need you to be out of that. Yeah, life. you think that they might, while you in a relationship, they might want to get into that whole phase because yeah. they they haven't had they that already. They might not want to be in a relationship no more because they want to be in these streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They want to yeah. be out any five and it's, times it's, out of the week. I feel like temptation is so in, in our palms 
especially having social media. Mm -hmm. If you haven't, probably got that whole phase out, mm -hmm. and you have a, you know, like I said, relationships are so disposable mm -hmm. at this at this time yeah. right now, um, mm -hmm. the time that we in. So if you haven't got that out of you, the temptation might come become easier for mm -hmm. you if you haven't got that out. So I could kind of see that aspect. Um, I feel like you know, if I vibe with you, like I would hope that. You know, everybody vibes with a certain person differently, and like, if it, you know if it's like a good vibe, and you know if y'all click. So I feel like, you know, if I click with someone, then yeah, I mean, I mean, that's rare. I feel like for me to just click with anybody like that. So okay. I for get me it. personally, like, I get it. You know, if, we, if I if I really click with you, then yeah, like, I'll, I mean, I wouldn't say I was a hoe or you know, all my, all, you know, whatever. But I'm not gonna just sit here and like waste. I don't like my time being wasted. So. You know? I got you. I get what you're saying. Do you think a relationship can be successful without having a husband? No, I don't think you can be in any relationship. I don't think a successful relationship can happen without you being in a whole phase at some point in your life. I think it's very possible. I think. I think. Who are we to judge to say that a person needs to sleep with a whole bunch of people? Set like to figure out what I'm they know. Scared. What they know, what they want. I don't think you have to go around. And I'm not. And I'm saying this because I mean I've, I've had my whole phase, so I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it like, oh, I ain't never did it. I've had my face, but I've also been around people who've never had a whole face. And they learn literally by the long-term relationships that they had, mm -hmm. because you gotta understand too, as we're, the older you get, you're growing with the person. You're learning different things that you don't like. Even, even though it's just one person, every day we're, we're different. So even if you got married today, you're, you married at 30 today, you're married at 50, um, you're, you're still learning different things. And I think mm -hmm. you're still able to learn those different things as well. I just had a whole conversation about Lori Harvey before I got here. Uh, I think she young, bro. Like, I honestly think she's just a regular girl. Like, I really don't even see what the big deal is about. Mm -hmm. I think it's because she come from money. <clears throat> but I think she a regular girl doing what regular girls are supposed to do. Date, figure the shit out, meet somebody. X out somebody, whatever. I don't think she's in a whole phase. I think she's just dating. Yeah, I just think Because we is. don't know if she's having sex with these men. We're just assuming she, that she is. She is. You can't say that she is. Bruh. So if you see me with a whole bunch of dudes in the city, you're just gonna be like, oh, Tokyo, fucking Bruh. all of them. Bruh. Really? Bruh. <laughs> I'm just gonna speak for me. If I'm future, I'm fucking. If I'm Puff, I'm fucking. If I'm Puff Sons, I'm fucking. How do you if, know? Hold on, who else she was dating? Hey, I did learn a lesson from one of them, because one of them was fine and one of them was ugly. Uh, what the ugly one taught what me, character the ugly did you one taught me that she? as a character building skill, I should not get drunk in the club to where I don't remember how I left. That okay. built my character on that one. <laughs> okay. that the fine one built my character on the point of, let's make sure we have all cleaned ourselves well before we make it to this event. All right, and that, and so now I, my, as as a part of my character, I check with people. Hey, you're freshened up. If not, you have a towel, hot water, and soap in there for you. Make sure we do that. Sound like make wise choices. Your future. I mean, that, that means you got to be your character to make wise choices. You no, can't just like, man, with stop. no character. How you, you can't make wise decisions. You fucking or doing whatever. Like let, let's, cause we talking about Laura Harper, whatever. She you are they need really different people lady. or fucking quote unquote you whatever. Are smart. And she catch some shit. What character did she Not fucking listen. build from that shit? Bitch buy condoms. <laughs> that's what she built. Who that's that the character shit? she built. But I feel like at the end of the day, like men have a different perspective and women have a different perspective of like how they feel as far as like hoes and relationships and who you talk to and who you don't talk to and like and how you move and stuff like that. Because I feel like women are running from like a social stigma and I think men are just doing their thing, right? Like I think women may even want to do certain things, but at the end of the day feel like I'm a woman. I, I don't want to be looked at like this mm -hmm. but as a guy like, even if you are called a hoe for instance it's not going to stop any shine like even with future future has all these like whatever but future has still yeah. maneuvered you know what i'm saying like yeah. it's, it doesn't stop anything but if a girl gets a stigma of a hoe it's like she's damaged good throw her out the, out the window so I, I get it but i just think that it's it's not fair to like not be able to be sexually liberated and you don't get what that comes with even outside of just like what you learn sexually you learn like people you learn yourself in a way i just think i'm i'm a, i'm an advocate for safe sex people and i ain't saying just go have sex with whoever you want to have i mean just whoever but at the same time i feel like police your own body don't let other people tell you what you can and cannot do with it and it does build character it builds who you are you learn from it you know what i'm saying she might hold herself to a certain standard to where it's like i'm fucking i ain't even finna take a bro 
Mike, look, come on, let's be a hundred. You fuck it. No. Uh, like, <laughs> why can't a woman date multiple men and not have sex with any of them? I don't think that's the case. You, we talking about Lori Harvey. How do you know she's having sex with them? I don't know. I think. Exactly, but you're saying it as if it's fact. He must do. <laughs> Damn, Lori. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, I, I don't think she's in a whole phase. I think she is dating. And when you date, you're you're filling people out to see who you actually want to be with for the long haul. Mm. And so she's let her live her life. It's I don't think she holding around. I'm proud of you, Lori. I'm so proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing. And and, and dating. I don't want to say it's, it's needed. It's a temptation for me, though. So you think that, so you think it's, it's that's why I'm scared. so you think a whole face will make you also lack self-discipline? Because that's what it sounds yes. like. Th that's the whole point of the whole phase. You can so learn, you can have more growth. You know no. what not to do and you know what to do. You still can have self-discipline without having a whole phase. It's just growth in a person. And so if you don't have a whole phase, at some point of a time when you are in a relationship, you're going to be tempted, like very tempted to see what is not to be in a relationship, if that makes sense. But some people already had characters built within themselves to where they was like, I never was that person. So it's, there's some people who just never were people who are party people. There's some mm. people who never was just into sleeping with a bunch of guys. Mm. There's just people who, some people who just never was into that. So I already know, because I know who I am and my characteristics, mm. I don't have to have that whole space because I know what I'm willing to tolerate or not tolerate or mm. willing to deal with. Now, it's, I think maybe if you had a whole phase, it would maybe be, I guess, easier. It's a bit more easier yeah, yeah, I could see that easier. But I don't want to say as a whole. I would say, okay, you never. So you telling me you never had a whole face? Uh, you might. You, I don't know if I could date you because I think you might cheat on me. This stuff. Know these niggas before you take the condom off. She know these right. niggas. I just no, see no, 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 you no, no, no. date Keisha in saying the same no, party. I'm not saying no of these motherfuckers. I'm saying no them. Like, hey. What's your mama you last name? <laughs> Maiden name. I need to know. You're not knowing if you're going through the whole state. Uh, you need to know it. That's why you wear condoms. Hey, what the fuck? That's what I just said. That's why you wear niggas condoms. Ain't, niggas ain't wearing condoms. Cut it. Cut it. Um, sorry. Cut it. The only niggas that shouldn't be wearing condoms are the married ones. Cut it. Or the long-term relationship. Ones. You show you me a nigga there. in 2021 using a condom, I'll show you a nigga who ain't had no whole face. Well, that's, uh, okay, you haven't had a whole face, and I use condoms. Perfect, great. We, we, we've resolved that issue. I use condoms. He hasn't had a whole face. I said 2021. It's still 2021. <laughs> but also on the flip side, just real quick, like if you aren't that person, don't think you gotta be that person. Right. Like with me, I ain't party in college, but I'm not really a big partier, so I don't feel like I missed anything. But if somebody was like, you know, you ain't party in college, like what are you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like just be yourself. If yourself says, I wanna have a threesome, sixsome, tensome, do your thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I just feel like you should be able to do that without having to be judged. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna be judged, but who cares? I mean, yeah. I, I'm yeah. not having them conversations first, second day. Right, right, right. Of course, of course, of course. It's more so you know that with yourself. But mm -hmm. I feel like if I do, if we do, if we do get to a point where we're comfortable, we're talking about everything, and we, then we get to a point where we talk about whole phase, and you feel like you never had a, a time when you went through a whole phase, I'm a little scared at that point. Mm, cause you, I'm you, a little worried. Because I need, I need to know that you kind of off the the point where if, if we break up, you ain't finna go crazy or just be finna just be out and about going to this club, going to that mm -hmm. club, meeting up with this people, that person, and mm -hmm. third. I didn't even know that you kind of passed that that stage so mm -hmm. that we can kind of build some shit that's, that's more concrete. Mm -hmm. I see what you say. I see what you're saying. Cause I, I just know me, and I know I ain't the only person that don't mm -hmm. went through it. Like you said, you went through a whole phase, mm -hmm. I, and I know other people that have. So I know the point of where I was like, no, nah, it's not. I'm, I'm not. You know, I'm not. I'm good on it. Like yeah, I did like, it so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm off I'm, it. I'm like, off it. Whatever. So I have a question for you. What's up? So you're proud of Lori, right? I'm proud of her. I've I've seen this thing where a lot of men have been have been expressing the same sentiment. What? That they're proud of her. And then like she like a G uh. for how she moving and stuff. But they'll call like a chick who's not a celebrity a hoe for doing the same thing that I won't. doing. I won't. I think that's why I be saying like I think a lot of people are brainwashed, bro. Like you I just think they brainwashed and I feel like you can't be one sided. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like that double standard shit is whack as hell to me. So I mean I agree. if my homeboy can smash hella joints. My home girl can smash hella joints. Yeah. I just feel like it is what it is. Like, especially if you're young, we just talked about a whole phase. When you're young, you're trying to figure that shit out. A lot of girls 
I, I met a girl, a couple, I met a couple girls that told me they ain't never had an orgasm. So you just out here getting drugged and you ain't coming. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? You're losing. There There's no characteristics in being a hoe, except for a hoe. He's fucking lying. <laughs> in conclusion, you will build a lot of character being a hoe. I say be the safest hoe that you can be, but definitely be a hoe. The lips Preferably at, from 17 to about 21, because after that, you know, your body ain't, ain't able to bounce back as quick as it would. So do that shit young. Canals so, you be know, your pussy don't be loose. So yeah, don't, yeah. In conclusion, I would say, um, have a hoe fast. <laughs> I think it's very, I think it's very, uh, I think it's it's not a negative thing if you have a health phase. I think that it's needed. Um, some people have, like we said earlier, if you have health phase at different ages. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, and I do feel like it, it does build character. It does, it does um, mature you in a sense. It does humble you in a sense. Um, you can learn your stuff through it. You can learn what the, the do's and don'ts to be in a relationship, things that you like about yourself, things that you don't like about yourself. Um, it teaches you, you know, who you like to date, what you're into, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, and it also makes you a little bit more educated sexually, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it, that'll help you for when you are trying to be in real relationships, taking things serious, you know, you can bring a lot to, a lot more to the table sexually because you kind of, yeah. been out there a little bit. You know <laughs> Masturbation. Oh, yeah, so I feel like, girl, figure that shit out. Like, do what you gotta do to figure that shit out. And it's okay to figure that shit out. Mm -hmm. You'll be much happier if you're having an orgasm. Guarantee it. You really would be. But the issue is that women don't know, a lot of women don't know their own bodies. And that's why they don't. And a lot of them are afraid because you got the media telling them they a hoe. Like, yeah. Bro, fuck that shit. Be a hoe. I'm a hoe. <laughs> Lori is a hoe. You are not a hoe currently. You're not a hoe currently, right? are you? No, I ain't a hoe. Okay, right now. good. Right now. You're not a hoe currently. But uh, no, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a hoe right now. I'm a good I'm a good guy. You You've know, been so. a hoe. You're a reformed yeah, hoe. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, a reformed whore. A whore. A reformed whore. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Practice makes perfect. Be perfect. <laughs> That's what I believe. Be perfect. I feel like at the end of the day, like, I think people want, like, the publicity of, like, the relationship thing. So I feel like it's important to, like, say if you're talking to someone, like, don't make it public yet. Like, kind of be private about it. So whenever, like, say if you're talking to someone and you do, say if you do post them yeah. and y'all break up, okay, well, now you look crazy because now you're posting another guy, you know, a couple months later. So now you just look like you're just hopping around. Like, that's why you can't really just post everybody who you talk to, who you mess around with, like different men all the time because people love to assume and like make stories up in their head. I so I feel like that comes with, I don't wanna say maturity level, but just like, you know, just keep it mindful because we live like, ten, like nowadays social media is so big that people love to assume and make up stories. So I feel like For if sure. you just like keep that in mind, like I'm not gonna, like I wanna make sure it's solid before I go public with it. So it just like looks better. That's, I mean, that's how I feel. I agree. Yeah, I think I think a whole phase. Um, I won't say it's necessary, but if if you do go through it, it's there's no right or wrong age to also go through a whole phase. Don't feel like because um, you're a certain age, everybody life experiences are different. Some people didn't get out there at certain ages. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some people was got married early, and maybe after a divorce, they might want to go through a whole phase at 29 or 30. Mm -hmm. So, um, and even if you don't, um, you don't you don't have to. But it do kind of. I will say it does help you kind of understand like okay. These are the type of people I do and don't like. So if it is something that you find yourself in or have found yourself in, um, I wouldn't say don't hold it hold it against yourself. And you know, for men or for women, um, do do what makes makes you feel comfortable. And however you choose to learn who you are and what you want to do and who you want to be with. So. Big facts. Yes, sir. <laughs> After me, it is Joy and Lex, and she's still sticking around. Joy and Lex, and then I gotta go again with Gabby. And then y'all two got, uh, y'all got five minutes.